Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to a video. So today I have another squad SDK tutorial for you guys. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a prep and a protection zone for each of your teams on your map. Uh, now this should work for all of the game modes, I think. Um, so um, I'm going to do it on my AAS layer, but it should work on any of the other ones. And so um, the first thing that you that we need to do, but uh, if you guys don't know what a protection and a prep zone is, so basically a protection zone protects your base and your vehicle spawns or any other stuff in it. And it also makes it so that the other team can't enter your base or they can, but then they will be either killed or um, I don't know exactly what the other thing is, but you can change the settings if you want to i'll show you guys that in a minute and then the prep zone basically makes it so that you can't exit that specific area depending on how big you make it um after the prep time is over then you can go out um and then also i almost forgot the protection zone also makes it so that you, you can't shoot your weapon in the base so that's just, that just prevents from team killing and stuff uh, from happening. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is quickly go. If you have a second content browser open, um, that will be nice because I'm gonna have my normal content folder open of my mod here on the left, and on the right side here I'm gonna search for the blueprints that we'll be needing. So. The first thing that we'll be looking for is gameplay team zone. So this is basically going to be the protection zone, but uh, they call it the gameplay uh, team zone. So it's just search gameplay, oops, gameplay underscore, oops, eh, underscore, uh, it should be this one so here you guys see we have the team zone here so basically um, I'm gonna create a new folder called gameplay like so and then I'm gonna create a another folder called gameplay border oops uh, go in here and then create another folder called gameplay border like so and yep that is correct okay and then we're gonna basically copy this team zone in here and say copy and then we're also gonna need the steam prep so drag that over and copy that in like so and then all i'm gonna do is just for me uh just so that i know it's it is um well, it's not actually necessary, but I'm just gonna. Uh, well, no, okay. If you want to, you can rename it uh, if you want to. But I'm just gonna save that, and then that should be done. You can basically check the Xbox there, and then so the next thing that we'll do is we are gonna drag in our team zone. So the team zone is basically the protection zone. So we're quickly gonna come over here to team one over here. And then you want to drag in it like so, and then immediately it it won't have it won't have a collision box, but we'll add that in a minute. So what you want to do is you want to come over here to the right where it says add component and click that button and add a collision box. So you want to search for collision, and then you can either add a capsule collision or a sphere collision, but a box collision to me is a bit better. So. Uh, it's all up to you and then so I'm gonna choose a box collision and so like that and then all you want to do is after you've added it there what make sure you click on it and here on uh, the details panel still uh, you just want to scroll down until you see collision and then here which is collision preset you want to click on this and change this to protection zone so uh, let me just quickly find it uh, there it is like so and so once you've uh, done that and set it to protection zone uh, we should now have a cube so click on this white one here again and then press R uh, for sizing it up so like so 
and I'm gonna size it up like that. And it doesn't really have to be that big, so I can actually make it a bit smaller. Uh, but then you basically move it in like so, and then I'm going to move it up. And then I'm going to make it a bit higher, like so, and then I'm going to press end. And that basically snaps, it's actually supposed to snap it on the ground, but you can make it so that this is a little bit underneath the ground. But um, like so, so depending on how high up and what kind of stuff you have in your base, obviously it would make this bigger. Um, and so after you've done that, there's a few settings that we can now set. So, um, I think it should be in here. Ah, oh, here. Where you see here, protection zone. So you can basically set the kill result in seconds. Or kill hostile in seconds. So you can either make it so that they only die 8 seconds after they've entered. So that gives them time to exit if you want to. Or you could put this to zero. And so... Also for team, this team ID, you want to put this to 1, because this is a uh, team 1. And so once you've done that, the next thing that we'll do is quickly add our, our team prep. And so this is going to be roughly the same thing, but we don't have to add a collision box to it, because it already has one. So all I'm going to do is size this one up, uh, like so. And then I'm going to make it a bit higher and then move it up. And then I'm going to just press end to snap it a bit. And then just put it underneath the ground. And then I'm going to move it in like so. It's going to make it a bit bigger. Like that. So it goes over your base. So depending on how big your base is, obviously this is just a, a test map. So I don't have much here. And so after you've done that, you should be good. And then the only thing that you want to um, put in here is also your team ID. Put that to 1. And then vehicle staging permits. What does it say there? Oh, primitive. Um, I'm not exactly sure what you should put in here. I don't know what this means exactly. Uh, but I think you can leave that on none if you want to. Um... I'm not exactly sure what that setting does, but the only thing that you need, really need to um, remember to set is this team ID. So obviously for team one, you set this to one. And so after you've done that, uh, everything should be good to go for our first team. So all I'm gonna do is just click the, I'm gonna select my team zone and my team prep for the first team. And I'm just gonna select it and then hold alt and drag and I'm basically copying um, the prep and team zone so that I can put it on the other team over here so I'm gonna basically just plop it up here and this is my team 2 if I'm not mistaken yes so uh, basically all I'm going to do is now click on team zone 2 and wait for it to stop lagging. Come on. Okay. It's like so. Okay. And then I'm going to quickly scroll down. Why does Unreal always have to auto save? Okay. Uh, I'm going to scroll down here. It's his protection zone and change this to 2. Because this, this is for team 2. And then same for the prep. Set this to 2 like so. And then that should be all you really need to do. Um, the only thing that I'm quickly going to do is um, most of you would not have to do this because um, I just enabled it for debugging purposes. But I need to quickly go. Uh, no, I think it's over. No, sorry. Maps, test map, and then my gameplay layer data. I'm going to quickly go in my gameplay layer data. And then, uh, where is it? Ah, yes. I'm just going to uh, disable this no respawn timer. Oh, wait, no. Well, okay, well, this is fine. But just make sure all of your other stuff is disabled uh, once you actually package your mod. Uh, I just have these on for testing and stuff because I don't want to wait for respawning. 
And so after you've done that, just save your map and then we should be able to test it. So let's quickly click play. And so now, if I click continue, And I click create squad. Well, you don't really have to create a squad. And then I spawned here in my in my base. And as you can see, it says here, well, uh, weapons remain on safe while inside the main base. So that works. So let's just quickly run out. Oh, wait. Uh, the other prep zone is still here. So I think... Yeah, okay, so, so you guys see here it says staging phase. So after that three minutes is over, I will be able to exit. But what I'll quickly do is, I'm just going to quickly select uh, these two prep zones. And then I want to quickly see if can you actually change the time. Um, let me quickly see, I think it's in here. Um, if not, I don't think it's that big of a train smash. Uh, it doesn't seem like you can. I think you can, but um, I'm not going to go over that now. But we will get tested for the other team. Okay, so we are in the other team now. So let's quickly spawn and see. Oh wait, no, I accidentally, I think I spawned. Uh, yes, let's go to the other team. Create spawn. Okay, so we spawned and yep, we can't. Let's see if we can go out. Nope, we can't. And then um, if you press enter. So um, yeah, everything should work. Uh, after this three minutes is over, you should be able to go out of the prep zone. But um, yeah, um, I think that's going to do it for this video guys hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful if you did make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you guys in the next one